Shiny, shiny, shiny. Is that a Beyonce song? Oh, I always wondered why um, girls wore tube tops in YouTube videos, and here I am wearing a tube top, looking naked. Naked, 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 naked. Maybe I should change. This looks crazy. Hola, corazones, mis amores. Hola, bebes. This is a really special video because I'm obsessed with these kinds of videos. <laughs> and I hope you are too. I am just living for the clean girl aesthetic. I feel like, you know, it's so funny how fashion and, and things blow up out of nowhere because I feel like, like Glossier came out, the makeup brand came out with this um, whole vibe, whole aesthetic, clean, very minimal look years ago and now it's like taken over and everyone is doing it, everyone's talking about it, including me. I'm obsessed with the whole, well, I, I'm really, in general, always very meticulously clean about my surroundings and myself. Kind of a germaphobe, but just really, I like everything sparkling clean. So this clean girl aesthetic that has blown up is right up my alley. It's totally my jam. I love it. I love everything about it. So I wanted to bring you the clean girl aesthetic perfumes. Uh, perfumes, fragrances, because I have one that's not a perfume and it's really funny that I'm gonna share with you first. But I really didn't want to pick uh, perfumes. <laughs> pelo, 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 pelo. I really didn't want to pick scents that were just clean. So this isn't like a clean perfume video. No, this is more like that clean girl aesthetic. So some of these may smell clean. Hi, pelo, pelo, pelo everywhere. Hi, pasa. <sighs> some of these may smell clean, but I feel like this clean girl vibe is, um, more of a yes clean but like zesty sparkling maybe a little sweet but it's just like this refreshed very pretty very cool very hip very gen z is it gen z gen x no it's gen z <laughs> i'm a millennial trying to be a gen z no i love millennials i love my decade my How long is a millennial? Is it a decade? <laughs> God. Okay, I thought I was gonna be cool in this video, but... That will never happen. So yeah, unlike me, it's a very cool girl. Very cool girl, clean, zesty, sparkling, maybe sweet, but just very... I don't wanna say mysterious, but very, um outgoing, friendly, just sparkling pretty. That's how I think of this whole vibe. Effortless, completely beautifully effortless and shiny in like the most glowing way possible. So these scents are not just clean. They just give me that clean girl fashionista model type vibes. That's what I get from these scents. And it was really hard to pick. Maybe I will rank them. I think the top three are my most favorite at the time, especially, ooh, that's gonna be hard to rank between the top two. I'm gonna try. It's gonna be really silly, but the first scent, the first scent that I will share with you is brought to you by Kate's Beauty Station, one of my favorite girls in Fragcom on YouTube in general. She does amazing videos of beauty and her perfume videos are just on another level. 
love her. Her clean girl, uh, clean girl videos that she's done lately, I'm like, taking notes, especially the one that, um, I'll link it in my description box. She did a clean, like how to be clean everywhere. Okay. And she, and I was like, I'm just like me mesmerized. I was just like mesmerized by that video and I literally have been buying everything slowly, but I wanted to talk about this, um, pure Castile soap <laughs> because she talks about how you take showers, how she, uh, she talks about how to take showers and clean your bits and your parts. And I was like obsessed. I'm like, yes, um, let me get something to clean my butt. Whatever she showers with, I wanna shower with too. So she talks about this um, almond marzipan smelling, the green one of this that I can't find. I haven't looked that hard, but I can't find it. So I got this one and <laughs> Put it on your armpits and on your bits and you will smell like a peppermint with this one. It feels mighty refreshing and sparkling clean. <laughs> it's great, okay? That was a great tip that she gave. So, but I still wanna find the one she was talking about, the green one, because I want my, bar, my bum bum to smell like marzipan too, but for now it smells like peppermint. Hers smells like marzipan, mine smells like peppermint. Try it and let me know. It was a great tip. The first clean girl scent I'm gonna talk about is probably what every girl on TikTok and on here and Fratcom talking about clean girl aesthetics is mentioning this perfume. But, and I thought about not mentioning it, but I have to because it's like the epitome of a clean girl aesthetic. Oh, I can actually smell it. A little, this is bubble bath. Yes, we all love a bubble bath. Um, it's probably like the easiest, most sparkling, but all, like delicious, clean scent. It's completely addicting and it's like the most cleanest floral bath. Like you smell like you got out of the cleanest, most floral bath and like the, the most the whitest, shiniest, cleanest bathtub jacuzzi with like these bubbles that are just so zesty and bubbly around you and that aroma stuck to your skin. That's what bubble bath smells like to me. With like, you had like, you know, a bunch of flowers everywhere that are not too strong. They're just giving off this air of, of floral, clean beauty. It's so good. It's totally addicting. You want to snuggle. This is like snuggle. Talk about like Netflix and chill um, scents that are usually like sweet and gourmandish, but this is a total Netflix and chill type. Video, clean girl, aesthetic, love, bubble bath, so much. Okay, I don't know if I'm gonna rank these because it's so hard to rank, but have heard me rave about Freckled and Beautiful by A Lab on Fire. Oh my God, every time I smell Freckled and Beautiful, I just get this feeling of, oh, beautiful, interesting, clean, floral biscuit. Oh my God, this is so out of this world. This is like, this is an art piece. If you have not smelled freckled and beautiful, please go smell it. It is like no other. It's so different. Um, but yes, this, I feel like freckled and beautiful is like this girl who's like totally glowing and, and fresh out of the salon in this very cute minimal brunch dress going in to buy a croissant and you know, she's just got her nails all done and she's just perfect. That's, that's what I get when I smell freckled and beautiful. And that's how I hope to be when I wear her. She is just a masterpiece. I love, I wanna wear her right now, but I'm wearing another one. Another one that's so good. Um, beautiful biscuit, fresh floral scent. 
like no other. Tell me if you have tried Freckled and Beautiful. And this actually reminds me now of Christine, um, the perfume nest here in Fragcom. I love her videos. Her videos are top notch. And um, she said she sprayed it on her daughter because that's her Freckled and Beautiful. So shout out to, shout out to Christine's daughter wearing this, I think on Easter. Yes. So beautiful, stunning, stunning, stunning. Freckled and beautiful, lab on fire. I think actually they changed their name to what we do. I will link it though. I will link their Instagram or their webpage. This is another one that smells clean, very clean, but very different. It's very zesty, very sparkling, very kind of sweet though, very clean. This to me, like I, the first time I tried Pacific Rock Moss by Goldfield and Banks. Man, this is one that I'm like, why are you so small? Because I want to shower in this scent. Um, Pacific Rock Moss is also something that is so unique and beautiful oh my god so the first time i tried this i went to a running treadmill class at the gym and i was sweating hard and this was coming off my skin like i wouldn't even have been embarrassed to go on a date at that time because i smelled so good and i had a mask on and i smelled myself i wonder if anyone has smelled me i wonder if my part my treadmill neighbors smelled me but nobody said anything because nobody ever says anything at the gym uh, but Pacific Rock Moss, to me, oh my gosh, so, to me, it smells like you melted, you know those little lemon candies that are really hard, uh, I think they're called, maybe it's lemon heads, because it's not Skittles, I think, I feel like it's like you melted the outer part of the lemon head and you like stirred it in a little bit of sugar and like club soda and a little bit of soap. And, and you had like maybe put some, muddled some greenery in there with some salt and then put some ice cubes in there, shook it up. <laughs> and then sprayed yourself. That's what this smells like to me. Let me spray it because girl. Oh my God, this is, yo, this is to die for. I love the feeling that this gives me and I can't, I've been like trying to save it to wear when the weather got hotter because it's so refreshing, I think. Yeah, I think this is the most, besides bubble bath, above bubble bath is way different. I have to say this is the most refreshing out of this bunch. Probably one of the most refreshing that I have. It's amazing with a hint, subtle hint of salty sweetness. Oh, it's, it's a delight. This is total clean girl aesthetic. This is like hip girl. This is like clean, hip, spunky, no, clean, hip, like, I know what I want, clean girl. Mm. Also cuddle time perfume, also. Also great for cuddling, I think. All these I feel like are so addicting. They're like, they're like sexy in a very clean, subtle way. Ugh. This might be my favorite video to date. A classic clean girl, beautiful girl that is clean, <laughs> aesthetic. Oh, I can't even smell it when I take the cap off. This is Passe Soir by BDK is phenomenal. Mmm. I think this is gonna be my signature for now. I think I'm gonna switch it up and have this be my signature for right now, cause, oh, this just totally reminds me of, like, I think it, it has to be the quince in here because I've never smelled quince before, but it, there's, there's this fruit in here that 
It is so mouth-wateringly beautiful. That smells like, it doesn't smell citrus and it's not too sweet, but it smells very watery. It's, yeah, this is, this, this fruit in here, the fruitiness of Passe Soir is um, so like thirst quenching, mouth watering with like this delicious sweetness of whatever quinces, <laughs> whatever this fruit is. It's like you're in a, in a really expensive floral dress and you're rolling around and you like all these fruits got smashed on you and then it it's the weather's a little bit cold but kind of hot and the sun is beaming on you and then you have all this all this like juice from the fruit and then it starts raining a little bit <laughs> and then you have a glass of champagne that's what this is like to me not very clean girl but in the most cleanest way <laughs> clean girl aesthetic <laughs> Cause like even after you get out up from rolling around in those fruits, like the, the rain's gonna wash you off and you're still having a bubbly glass of champagne and then you still look just perfect. <laughs> That's what Passe Soir is to me. Oh, I need to start wearing, yeah. I wanna start wearing her from now on for this springtime, which is like really the hot hell of summer. Cause it's always summer in SoCal. Oh. Love, passe soir. Means not tonight, right? Is that the thing? Perfect, perfect. So this is the sweetest one that I have in this lineup, but I really wanted to choose it because it's my favorite, besides R.E.M. from Ariana Grande, not Cloud, not Ariana Grande. Um, besides that one, which I really love. I love, 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 but I wanted to choose this one. I think it's my favorite celebrity scent and it I feel like it it completely fits this clean girl aesthetic even though it's very sweet. It's a very clean sweet though. It's a very intoxicating but not intoxicating and like rich and heavy. I feel like it's so this is Fancy by Jessica Simpson, FYI. Uh yeah, man, it's like, it's so pretty, oh my gosh. And it's like, yes, it does remind me of Note Vanille by Mikalef, which is just luxury vanilla bomb, like out of this world. But this is more, the sweetness in here is, is very feminine, very, I feel like it's very clean like sparkling and zesty and just innocent. And it's just like a solid good mood. You know, you're not too excited, but you're just like chilling. You're in a good mood, you feel good, you feel clean, you feel pretty. And the universe has got your back. That's what Jessica Simpson Fancy does for me. I love this scent and I will always have this. Now I want to wear, now I want this to be my signature. <laughs> Every time I smell anyone, this is the problem with fume heads. Fume lovers. Wait, that sounds wrong. Frag lovers. I don't think I ranked these. Did I even rank them already? No, they're not ranked. But my first, my last, so I have this one to talk about and then I have two left and those are really my top two at the moment though. I cannot get enough of those top two. Oh, I can't even pick one or the other. Oh, oh, they do things to me. But right now we're gonna talk about Granada by Memo Paris. And I don't know where you can get a sample of this. I blind bought this and I was very happy. But this is your, this is like, 
I've said this a hundred times probably, I can't remember. But this is the epitome of a clean girl, pretty girl aesthetic. This is, Granada is a very, to me, let me spray. Mmm, 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 yes, yes, just cover me, cover me in this scent. Just the epitome of a clean girl aesthetic. This is like soapy orange blossom. Yeah, that's what I get. A light, refreshing, soapy orange blossom. This is fancy resort like in a white bikini and you have like your hair slicked back and it's all shiny and healthy and you got a little bit of lip gloss on and you're so shiny from all your sunblock and you got like you're like reading a book in this really fancy resort the breeze is just hitting your skin with this like delicious cold air and you're about to get in the water and look like a mermaid that just was born into wealth or something magnificent. <laughs> Y'all like my descriptions? These are, these are things that go on in my head. Okay, I could, I could waste time in front, what I do, but in front of my perfume collection, just coming up with these stories. It's what I try to feel like when I wear my babies. So yes, Granada by Memo Paris, I just... The ultimate. It's like the most popular clean girl. That's, that's you girl. Okay, these next two, have whisked me away into like put me on their horse whisked me away to like clean girl heaven I am addicted to these next two and I think my gut tells me to save one for last because I am so over the moon about the last one and this one too but I still have this one in the box I like I'll keep a box for a little bit because I love to keep the box and then I get sick of myself. I sick of the clutter and I throw it away. <laughs> I've been wanting, oh man, how am I gonna say this? I can't stand pronouncing things. I'm gonna butcher the name. Ex Nihilo. <laughs> Ex Nihilo. I gotta, I gotta laugh. I gotta put a Latin zest behind everything I say. Uh, ex nihilo, flur narcotic, flor narcotico. I've been wanting this for so long and it's, you know, it's really it's so interesting. It's so interesting, this one, because when I first smelled it, and even now, like, I don't really know why I love it so much. Like, when I first was trying it on years ago, I really didn't understand why I wanted it. I still don't. I still don't know why I'm so addicted to the scent. It's like, beauty that confuses you <laughs> tell me if you feel the same way if you have like it it's beyond beautiful and I don't know why it's like the ultimate sexy queen the ultimate sexy clean queen it's unbelievable it's so clean, but musky and floral and 
This one I wouldn't say is so sparkling, like sparkling clean. It's just like musky, clean. It's like you have this coating of air exuding from your skin that's like very, like smells like skin, but smells like flowers and very, very clean, like flowers that have just been washed and rained on. Oh, it's so sexy and I, it confuses me, all right? I gotta make, maybe I'll make a solo video on this one because I am confused, but I know how I feel, you know? Like, I can't put her on paper. I could never write the pros and cons. <laughs> I could never tell you really why? I'm gonna try and figure it out though. Fleur Narcotique. You must get your nose on this. You, but not, not just your nose, like you have to wear it. Wear it, wear it. Go to the store and douse yourself in it and just be like, I'm gonna come back later and buy it. And even if you're not, you might, you might, you probably will because once you get a feeling of walking around in this, you're gonna be like, I am queen. I am clean queen, sexy clean queen. Oof. Beauty. Let's put you back in your, in your, um, put you back in your coffin, because it looks like a coffin, just for a little while, until I decide to throw you, throw it away. But look at how cool. This is actually a great, um, thing to ship him in, because it's foam. So she's safe, she's tucked away safe inside. Okay, babies, this one might surprise you because I don't really talk a lot about Chanel. Do I? Maybe I do, I don't know. Holy Smokes has this one. Taken my breath away, completely. I am so charmed by this Gabrielle Essence. Gabrielle by Chanel Essence. Not the regular one. Although I kinda wanna go smell the regular one again because I don't remember liking it, but now that I am so in love with Gabrielle Essence, I just got her. And this is one of, I'm like, this is when you really regret, like why aren't you bigger? Why did I do that? I got her at the Sephora sale. And I already was obsessed with her, so I don't know why I didn't get the bigger bottle, but whatever. She, she's getting in a bigger bottle soon because I'm about to run out in like a couple weeks, probably. Gabrielle Essence is, wow. <laughs> wow, is the ultimate clean girl. Did I say that already? No, my bad thing. The ultimate, like just, Stunning. Oh my God, this is, this is like sophistication and class and clean and just gorgeous. Like you wanna be gorgeous and like, you'd be like, I know myself. Confident, clean, and just like, you're just fresh faced, but you are drop dead gorgeous and very successful. This is so beautiful. This is the one I'm wearing right now. And I'm like, I don't want to, because she's almost gone. Oh my God, I just... I just can't, I just can't. <clears throat> this has the classy uh, Chanel DNA behind it with this very sparkling champagne-like vanilla behind it that is out of this world. I can't believe, I mean, like, I haven't liked a Chanel fragrance this much in a really, I like them, I like them, don't get me wrong, like, I still love uh, Mademoiselle, I still love her, um, I love the Noir, I haven't bought it though. Like sometimes I go back and forth with that one. Um, 
the chats, like they're all, I, I like them and I love some, but this, I don't think any of them have taken my breath away like Gabrielle Essence. I don't think so. I think she's gorgeous. She is like gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh my God, I can't, I can't, I can't. I can't with her. It gives us the most beautiful, classiest aroma ever. I just, I'm totally enthralled by this scent and she's taking me over. She's taken me over and I want to swim in this bottle. And I have gotten compliments. I have gotten really nice compliments. Like, wow, you smell so good. I'm like, I know. I know, girl, I smell so good. I'm like, you want to smell like me? <laughs> uh, if you've tried this one, and I'm so happy that I love it this much because you guys can actually go try it. Go try it at the, depart the department store and tell me what you think. Please tell me if you love it as much as I do because I am obsessed. Obsessed. Have I said it enough? Obsession to the max. <sighs> I'm like, look. I can't even put her down. I cannot even put her down. <sighs> yes. <sighs> bueno, mis bebes, that was a really cool, fun video. I want to do another one. I want to, I don't know. I'm obsessed. I'm telling you, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with this whole vibe. And I have so many on my wish list now that I want to sample, that I want to bring into my collection that I already know that I love, that give me this clean girl aesthetic vibe. I am just obsessed with this. I want to like have everything everything i'm just constantly watching these videos it makes me feel so relaxed to watch cleaning videos or like to talk about people feeling clean it's ridiculous i know i know but it is who i am i i am who i am but i love it so if you like it let me know and i'll come up with something else some thing some other <laughs> clean girl type video maybe a clean guy video no I don't know if I'd do a good one with that. I don't know. Thank you for sticking around, guys. I love you. Please comment. Comment. Tell me stories on... Oh my god, I just realized I have to pick it from my giveaway. <laughs> I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna pick a giveaway for... A, a, I'm gonna pick a winner for my giveaway of my last video and I'm gonna comment on you and tell you you won. So if you're watching this and you entered, watch out for that comment that I'm gonna tell you. You are the winner on my last video for the perfume sampler set from Sephora. <laughs> your girl is a mess, okay? I'm sorry. Blah, 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 blah. Los amo. I hope, you're ha I hope you feel clean and beautiful and sexy. <laughs> I will catch you on my next one. Ciao, amores. Cuídense. This is a sound really cool.